Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Norway in EU4. Now we can finally focus on colonization. And who do we want to attack first? <laughs> because obviously colonization involves war. We're going to be attacking England. Um, they actually have provinces right next to our initial expansion. We also took this one down here, which I believe is in a different colonial range. We haven't actually had to use this yet. Colonial regions. Nope, it's in uh, Colonial the Caribbean. <laughs> That's a really creative name there, Paradox. <laughs> Colonial the Caribbean. <laughs> That's great. So, anyway, um, we need to get five colonies in Colonial the Caribbean. Yes, I'm going to keep on saying it because I think it's funny. And then we'll end up having one of these things, Portuguese Guiana. So, Portugal, apparently... Um, see how they actually have a province right there? I bet that's like the edge of a, a region. No, it's not. Interesting. Well, I suppose that when the colony finishes, it will automatically become part of Portuguese Guiana. Meanwhile, we've got Castile and France at the very southern tip of whatever the heck that is. Uh, Castile has also gone around the Ivory Coast down there and uh, the Cape of Good Hope. So they took that little island to St. Helena. Oyo, Mali, things are looking pretty fine. Poland, I believe, is still our friend, aren't you? Let's get that thing opened up again. Yeah, so they're pretty friendly with me. Um, apparently we're competing great power now. Enemy of enemy, honored alliance. We're not actually currently allies, according to that. Are we? Yeah, we're not currently allies. That's right. Okay. Oh, that's right. They broke it because they were allies with um, France. I remember now. Okay. So competing great power, not good. We are currently improving relations with Poland. They would accept a royal marriage, which I do think we should offer because that will prevent them from deciding to backstab us. And before we also get started, we are 53% towards annexing Novgorod. We don't have the diplomatic relations guy, which would be really nice right now. I think he died. But um, we also have 936 gold, and I'm trying to decide what we want to spend all that money on. Let's check our cores. We have no overextension. We're at zero, sorry, negative one stability. Um, that's affecting our legitimacy by quite a bit because we have our regency. Oh, that's right, we have a regency. Fortunately, our 535, um, Magnus Galt, the amazing man, is about to come of, air, come of age. And when he does, I think we will be declaring war on England. Meanwhile, Denmark being an idiot, we need to take care of that for him, that's right. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I think I know where things are at. Do you know? Meath, you're not doing anything right. Let's go pick up those troops. Oh, and we were playing on speed 5 before. I want to start on 4 for a bit. Revolts are possible in two provinces. Apparently this one's unhappy for some reason. It is reformed. We cannot convert it yet due to religious zeal. That will end in 1565. So three more years we can convert this back. Let's just spend the 10 military power so we don't have to deal with that. I feel like that's one of those things that's just generally worth it. To not have to mess with stuff in the middle of nowhere. This one, on the other hand, costs 60, which is not worth it. Alright, so we attach you. We do have a few mercenary companies that we should probably get rid of. And we also have an outdated fleet. We got to level 9 military, or di 9 diplotech a while ago. And um, we have access to caravels and carracks. And I believe almost all of our fleet is just dated. And we have some caravels. Quite a few caravels, but we also have a lot of barks in there. You know, they're, they do less, they have fewer cannons. They have less hull, and they have less trade power, and they cost the exact same amount. So, we may want to update the fleet. We also have plenty of room for more troops. How dare you, Bavaria. You son of a... That's right, we have a, we have a, actually have a, a, a cardinal. <laughs> the first one ever! He's amazing! Uh, peasants typically had no voice, but they could occasionally gain access to the monarch and ask for redress. Sometimes these requests for redress would be directed at the local lord who was perceived to be violating the peasants' rights. Stepping in to override a local noble, noble's local authority was a very drastic step. Um, don't really want to lose that, actually. Um, hold on, we can, we can handle that. I'm not really worried about that. And this is most unfortunate. We have to take a crossing penalty against a 1-2, but... If we don't, then Denmark's going to just get slaughtered, so let's go take care of it for him. Edward, 
Edvard Larson. And our 535 has just come of age. We are now also allowed to become the Defender of the Faith if we want. Which um, is not something we want. We're not going to make this guy into a commander because I would like him to live forever. Okay, and then we'll head through over to here. Detach a siege just to try to take that back. That'll also make Denmark like us a little bit better for um, returning that to them. And does our commander actually have any siege score? No, nope, none of them do. So, rather than stick more troops here than we really need to, let's just make sure we do have a blockade in place. We'll bring these ships to um, that sea zone there. And we will send these guys to Skane, and then we'll have them go hang out in Stettin. That's, uh, oh, that's kind of twittery. Twittery, yes. That way we don't have any revolt risk there. 2% roughly revolt risk requires 8 regiments to completely exterminate, and we've just plopped down 8 regiments, ideally, perfectly. Next month, tick, gone. Good, good. Well, what do we want to do with all this money? Um... We have 167.5 base tax. Our colonies are growing. That's right, we do need to send some troops over here because they will rebel and it will cost us a lot of um, extra time to actually complete that colonization. So we're allowed to go to war. Do we want to just declare war on England or do we want to wait? We should probably get back up to zero stability. Right? Shouldn't we? I don't know. It's not really hurting us. And going up to zero is not going to like make us more money or anything. It's just going to make the revolt risk go down slightly. And it's going to um, decrease the amount that we lose legitim... Or, yeah, we would gain legitimacy. But we're doing fine. I mean, we could go ten years and we'd lose two, two, two legitimacy. It's not a big deal. Besides, legitimacy is kind of fleeting. I think what I'd prefer to do is make some buildings and... Yeah, we want the embassy. That was the reason we were saving up, isn't it? I think I was trying to do that for a while. Hey, look, manpower. Not. Any particular reason to build this anywhere? You need to build in the capital. And we're going to start building a few caravels. Build them here, one, two, three, four, five. And then when those are complete, we will destroy the barks. Barks got bite. Fortunately, we got lucky and we seem to have breached the walls there. Need four artillery to make a difference there. Do we actually even have four artillery? We do. Well, excellent, let's grab that artillery and send it over and grab that artillery and send it over and take a tiny bit more attrition, but speed up the siege slightly. Ah, never mind. Okay, so now when we look at their opinion, notice how we will have that defended our territory, liberated our province. It's kind of nice. It'll make them like us. Silly dummies. Vassal royal marriage, neighboring heretic religion. There were some really good interesting comments about this that um, if we were to have actually annexed them fully and then released them as a vassal, then they would have actually flipped religion to ours, which would have probably been a better move, but it's a little bit too late for that now. So we're not going to worry about it. Um, that guy's still in our pocket. Papal influence is good for the next few years. Our colonies have done fine so far. Not a lot of time has really passed. What's more important, retrofitting the fleet or building up our force limit, our troops? I'd say the fleet. get the second round of them going. I want to do it in stages. And of course we're going to be doing it again in a year. A couple years. When we get the next couple, like level 15 is it? Level... Yeah, level 15, the early frigate. We're already at level 11. But that's okay. We are about to get the next level of military tech. Artillery shock, artillery fire, we get new cannons, and we get the regimental camp. That building actually increases manpower. Did we not build five? We did. 
That one's taking significantly longer. Alright, so let's grab these, bring them together. France has ended their peasants' war. I never really paid much attention to that, did I? France, how are you doing? I said, France, how are you doing? I want to see the that one. So, 61,000 with 40,000 manpower, and they are allied with Poland. Poland is, again, still willing to accept the royal marriage, but they are not willing to accept an alliance. I think if they were willing to accept the alliance, that caused them to break their alliance with France, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, um, let's grab these units up. We're going to say new unit, and we're going to sort by type, I guess, if it'll let us. Bark, 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 bark. And we'll just get rid of those five. And start protecting trade in Nubik again. We have our guy in charge of that, right? Good. Good, good, good. And when the next round of them gets completed, we'll set them about doing that as well. Protect trade in Nubik. Military tech. Sounds great. New unit types are available. Chambered demi cannon. We like it. Do we have an heir? No legal heir. We need to get one of our diplomats home. Let's let's bring the one home from Poland in a day or so. There we go. And they attacked our colony. Stop taking my guy, Bavaria. So one of our colonies got uh, a little bit smaller, down to one. The other one's still doing okay. Um, right, yes. Yeah, so we're going to bring the guy home from Poland. Send him back. <laughs> oh, hey, and by the way, would you go back where you came from and actually ask him for a royal marriage? We need an heir. Poland, become my, my royal marriage. Accept my alliance, you bastards. Zero. We currently have zero reasons for an acceptance. So all we need is a little bit more navy or army strength, and they'll say yes. And we should be building those things anyway. So we have 12 infantry, 3 cavalry, 4 artillery. I'd like a couple more of those. And then definitely some artillery. That'll be fine for now. Protestant zealots in Hamburg. Holstein is outraged by us, so we don't really want to help them. Sweden is also at negative 200. <laughs> Amazing. We don't have any reason to attack them. We also have a truce with England. So I completely forgot about that. But our England, our truce ends in just like a couple months. It's not really a big deal. Hey, we have some more ships. Maybe that'll make Poland like, the, uh, like us more. Might need a month to update. Nope. They don't seem to care about trade ships. Light ships, whatever they're called. Come together. Create new unit. Bark, 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 bark. Select unit, disband. There's a forum pre thread right now talking about how, like, we understand the concept of why ships can't just be upgraded, but it would be nice if there was a button that would say, like, scrap hulls and replace with new ships. Like, you could send them into port and then they'd just come back upgraded and do whatever. But no, that's too complicated. That's a lot of zealots. Wow. It's like playing Zergling Madness or something against someone going with Zer zealots. So we should probably defend that. Our truce is up in one month, two months. One month. Was it, is it actually September 11th? September 11th. Yeah, go figure. All right, so England is allied with Sweden and Austria, neither of which really scare us that much. Maybe Sweden is a threat since they're right next to us. But I feel like we did okay against them last time. They have 27,000 troops. I guess that's a lot. We have a supply limit of 49 there. It is getting on. It's 1563. Again, a little bit later in the game. We have a bunch of money, so we should probably replace more ships. Let's see, where are they? How many more do we have in there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Well, there's a lot. <laughs> it's going to take a while. Let's build as many as we can. That's just fantastic. Faster ship construction. Naval maintenance modifier. 
across the land. People are supporting our Grand Navy. Yeah, we are pretty awesome, aren't we? Hey, you're willing to offer accept an alliance. Poland has entered into a military alliance with us. Now watch, they'll immediately break it, or they'll break the relationship with France. One or the other. They can't keep both. Can they? Maybe they can. Oh, it looks like our building got complete. We didn't get a pop-up about it, but that's why we have an extra diplomat. Cool. So what? Uh, what's our next ambition? We'll probably improve relations with Denmark. Get them capped out. How long until we can annex you? 15... No, that's not it. 1567. That's only four years away, so we need to get them up to 190 ASAP. Connect doesn't like us. We have no claim on them. We could fabricate a claim over there. What's our mission? Forge a claim on our rival's province so we can attack it. Newmark. Newark. Oh, I completely forgot about doing that, and uh, it's been forever. Yeah, we need to fabricate a claim on you, please. Thanks. And we have three missionaries available, and yet nothing that we can do about it. We've lost the colonialism cast a spell against England. So our colony, colony died. We sent our colonists back. And then... Let's see. If we... I'm just curious. If we were to declare war on England, would Poland support us? Poland trusts Norway to uphold our bargains. Well, we have been allies in the past. It's true. Dominating our trade note, 46%. The Hansa has quite a bit of... quite a few ships. I don't believe we have any right to attack them. We are embargoed by England, Bremen, and Hamburg. It really makes no difference. They hardly hurt us at all. Well, 4% in Lubick, that's kind of significant. Hamburg. Hey. Hey, you. Do we not have a cast of spell line for that, though? We should. Yeah, we do. Okay. So, Hamburg. Maybe that's who we attack. Where's Hamburg? Am I going crazy? Right, the one that's occupied by 18 zealots. Yeah, good luck. Okay. Well, let's do that. Um, obviously, the Holy Roman Emperor, which is Bavaria, would support them. How strong is Bavaria? Bavaria has a meager 16,000 troops. We could take that. And also, Bavaria... Sorry, Hamburg is in a coalition against me. That's not good. And they are allied with Bohemia, Mecklenburg, and Thuringia. So Bohemia would probably get involved. But if Poland joins us, then we'd be fine. Interesting. Denmark. Annex Vassal. Fabricate Claim. Let's bring back our guy who's working on Denmark for a second. And just check to see if Poland would join us in any of these wars. Like so. Hamburg, if we were to declare a war on you... They are... Oh, right. And then the coalition. They will call upon the coalition members of Bremen, Sweden, and Hamburg. They are part of a the Empire, and Bavaria will protect them. This could actually work out to our favor. If we win this war, we'll have a truce time with Sweden, but not England. Because unless Sweden takes over as the war leader, I don't know if they can do that in a coalition war. Poland would join the war, so I think we can win pretty much no matter what. So... Let's, um... Get our army and our fleets together. And make sure that these guys are protecting trade this month. Poland now commands enough cardinals to become the papal controller. Wow. Well, I guess that's kind of a... Is that good or bad? I'm not sure. Um, hey, Poland, before you get all high and mighty, how about you... Declare war on Hamburg with us. Don't tell me you changed. Good. And now that our fleet is together, I feel totally safe in declaring the war. Blow up a fleet. We'll go blockade some things. Sweden got immediately called in. I don't think... Yes, okay, never mind. Sweden did become the, uh... 
the war leader, which means that we won't be able to do a separate war with England. But still, we'll blow up, we'll beat up uh, Sweden's fleet, and we'll go and destroy their army and all that stuff. They're on level 12 military attack, we're on level 13. Our commander's a 2-3, theirs is a 1-1. One, one. We should be just fine. So where do we want to go first? I mean, really, I, I actually just want to take Hamburg. So, okay, well, I'm going to take a break. In the next video, I plan on vassalizing Hamburg. That's going to be our plan. So, thanks for watching, everyone. See you again soon.